We're going to be taking a look at the fourth quarter of analytics for OHAClinic.com. And we have things loaded up here. You can see that our numbers are down a little bit from the beginning toward the end. And we stabilized here in these last couple of months, but it's maybe not quite where we would want it to be. If we compare it to the previous period, we can see that we are down on every one of these months compared to the previous months. And that's not perfect at all. We're having a little bit better place on the average time and page. Um, so we're having people spend a little bit longer. The bounce rate's better. That means that people, when they come to the site, then they value what they have there and exit percentage is better as well. So we have a few uh, less on the way of page views and unique page views, but we're increasing the quality of those visits. So uh, it's a trade-off where we're in a decent place compared to where we've been. What starts to look even better though is, what we, is when we compare it to the previous year, because we have seasonal changes in these kind of things. Obviously, Cancer doesn't change as the year goes on, but what does change is people's availability to be looking at a website, the degree to which they're going to be doing research and seeing things on social media and having time to be able to explore things of this nature. So then instead of comparing it to the previous quarter, we look at the previous year and we start to see a better picture. And then we can see that we have a huge increase in the number of page views and our time on the page is down some, but you'll have to keep in mind that during this quarter, last year then we were in a place of having um, the site being a good good deal newer at that point and so we were able to have uh, people coming to the site for the first time and they were exploring the site in ways that wouldn't be natural to continue to do in the future but we have good numbers overall compared to this time last year especially for the holiday season it's difficult during the times when we hit the holidays and we're always going to expect to see numbers dip a little bit during that time we see down here that we have our page number, uh, our page numbers for these different pages, and uh, on the home page, then we're slightly up year over year for the quarter. But then uh, when we come down here and we look at staff and um, some specialty things like this September landing page and all of our inside pages, they are all up tremendously. And so even though we have a little bit uh, down on the uh, unique page views here. Um, and we're way up on the pages overall, then the place where we're seeing it the most is on these inside pages. They're going in a good direction. All the places we want people to be going, then they are starting to get there. Let's take a look over here at our audience and go through each one of these parts here. We're gonna take a look at this overview first, and we can see that our number of new visitors as a percentage, then that's starting to go down from last year. And that is overall a positive thing. Um, in our case, I believe we're wanting to get some traction with people. And we are always going to need new visitors with the nature of this site. And that is going to be largely acquired through paid advertising and other means of that sort. But we also have some people who are starting to stick around. There is something worth visiting uh, on this site. And that's a good thing. That's positive. Our number of users is down a little bit. And that means, of course, then that we're having people who are visiting more pages each time they come if our pages are up and uh, then our visitors are down and the people who are coming must be looking at more. It means it's a valuable experience for them to be coming in in that way. And that speaks to this idea overall where we're trying to move to a better place. We have um, three and a third pages almost that we have now, pages per session versus just a couple last year. That's a, that's a remarkable improvement. And while our time on each page was down just a little, then our average session duration, the entire time they're on the website, that's up. So then they are visiting several pages, maybe not spending a ton of time on each one, but they explore them, uh, explore the site a little bit more thoroughly than they did in the past. Let's come down here and take a look at some of our demographics with age first. Uh, let's look at it in this view instead. I think that'll be a little easier to understand. Uh, so we're still, uh, we're split in a uh, fairly even way, fairly broad way here, still compared to where we were last year. Um, we're down a little bit at the younger ages, which is an okay thing. In general, we're going to be targeting an older age group. And we can see that as we head up here toward the older ages, then we're hitting them pretty well. When we look at male and female, then we have a greater percentage of females this year than last year and uh, it's skewed quite a bit that direction and it's at least in part because of social media efforts i imagine that in general that number will always skew more toward the female side cancer strikes everyone of course but those who are going to be researching it are going to be more likely to be doing it who are uh, who are female and we're trending more in that direction toward female at this point not necessarily a positive or a negative thing until we get to be at an extreme point i think right now we're within safe bounds Eventually, if it gets to be too far, that means that we're probably missing a part of the market that we should be targeting. Uh, we're not going to take a look here at interest, but we do want to look at the location of people. 
So we can see here that um, we are actually a little less down in the United States than in other countries. That's a positive thing. That means that a greater percentage of people this year are coming from the United States than last year. 96% this year versus 93.67% last year. And so that means we're moving in the right direction. In general, people from other countries are not going to be valuing what OHA has to offer. And so we want to target those people that are here. Once we look within the United States, we want to see if we're hitting people in Missouri the most. And we are. We're hitting at about 50% right now, not quite there. That's up from just over 40% last year. That's a move in the right direction for sure. And of course, it would be ideal to have all of our views coming from right in the areas that we value. But in, in general, you're going to see that a successful site is hitting around half. That really is about where we normally get to. And sometimes it will go beyond that for a highly specific sort of thing. But with a broad category like cancer, then you're going to draw in people from other places at times. Um, the most from Missouri, and then, then from Illinois, that makes sense. And then once you get past that point, uh, it's not too certain why you would have people from those places as much. But Missouri is at the top where we want it to be. Once we look within Missouri, then we can see that with this little scatter plot on top of the state, that we have by far the most people coming from southwest Missouri. That's a very good sign. As far as the states that are the cities that are the most likely to be visiting, then you have Springfield at the top, as we would expect. St. Louis is next, and that's largely because of size. And after that, we get into places that are all nearby in the southwest Missouri area. And it looks fairly similar to last year. In fact, it looks amazingly similar to last year. Uh, not much difference there at all in what we're seeing. It's just about exactly where we'd want it to be. So those things are looking good. They're moving in the right direction. As time goes on, we hope to focus it even more than now. But nevertheless, it's going in the right direction for sure. Here's a look at the new versus returning visitors, and we are down on new users, um, on new visitors a bit, and then we're quite a bit up on the returning visitors. And again, like we said earlier, that's a positive sign. Looking at the frequency and recency, then we see that the majority of people come and visit a single time within this time frame that we're looking at, and then um, a handful, of course, come again, and then a very small number come repeatedly. Looking at the technology. This doesn't make a huge difference, um, but it can change some of the decisions that we make as far as what we're trying to target, how we want to lay out the website. You can see that Chrome is the number one browser here, and then we have Safari, Internet Explorer. These things matter, but what matters much more is looking at how people are actually accessing it. And so we have the greatest percentage coming from Windows devices, and that is unusual for a website at this point, and I imagine it is because we are skewing toward an older demographic. Most websites are not in that way now. We actually have more people using Windows this year than last year, and I believe that would include, yes, that, that includes uh, Windows tablets and such as well, and other portable devices from them. After that, then we have Android and iOS. So we see that we still have a healthy percentage of people using mobile devices. We'll take a look at that here real quick to see if we have a shift in that at all. And we actually have fewer people using mobile devices this year than last year. And that is unusual. Uh, it's trending in a different direction than most people. It's something to keep in mind as we continue to work on the website as anything new is added to it, that um, we have a very high percentage of people that are visiting from mobile devices, but not as much as what we see on most sites. So we need to keep both at a place of priority right now. Let's look at where we're getting people from this year. Come over here to channels first, and you can just see a broad overview. Uh, actually, let's look at this page here. It makes it prettier. Same information, but a little bit easier to view. Uh, you can see from last year to this year that the people coming here through organic search has nearly doubled, and that is a very positive sign. We want it to be that then you don't have to pay forever to be able to get people to see your site. Um, so last year, just 15%. This year, nearly 30%. Um, so it's it's a very healthy growth there. And then with referral traffic, then that has gone up in a good amount as well. With social, then we are up about 22%, also very healthy. The only place we're down is through other. That means that some of the paid advertising systems that were used last year by you all probably are being used a little differently this year. Doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, but it is down on the other category. If we look inside here, we can see more specifically where that is. That's all within local X. 
and there's less of that this year, which probably makes some sense. Last year, you're at the beginning of trying to really push this website. Now we're in a place where it's more stable. It would be natural to have that go down some. And I'm going to take a look over here at referrals real quickly to see if there's anything we're missing. A lot of those are coming from Facebook, and so our Facebook numbers are probably a little bit better yet than what social is showing. Sometimes they don't get counted appropriately. And then we have ads down here. Yeah, everything else is very normal. Sometimes you'll see another site that's referring to you that you'd want to know about just so that you can make sure to thank them if they're sending people your way, but we don't see too much of that on here right now. Let's take a look at Search Console and see if we've got um, results showing up in here right now. No, not right now. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the social media things here real quick. People are coming to your site from social networks, the most from Facebook, which makes sense because that's where we're putting our emphasis. People that are going to be heading there are primarily going to the home page, but then we have a nice list of other things that they are going to as well. Let's look at this month by month and see how they compare from one year to the next. And we're in a fairly similar place still on this. It's a little bit of growth from one year to the next, but not too, not too terribly different. We do want to also take a look at uh, whether people are taking actions on your site other than clicking on pages. So we have downloads are happening at a uh, significantly higher place this year than last year. Last year we just had 20 downloads that happened on the site and now we have 60. That means people are taking advantage of the content on there more than they were before. And uh, I don't think we tracked forms last year. We're having 37 people click on the telephone link within um, the last quarter. So we're just looking at um, 12 people per month. So that's still some though. It's being used at least at this point. That's a positive thing. Let's take a look at this outbound. Let's see what we have within there. That doesn't look like it's much of anything. We have some things that are related to uh, see your own chart is where most of those things are there. So that's not too significant. Wanted to make sure we didn't have anything hidden within there that shouldn't be there. Let's take a little bit more of a look at these individual pages. And we look at these charts here. Yeah, you can see that the home page is making up a significantly smaller percentage of the visits to the site than it was last year. And that's a very positive thing. The home page is great for introducing people to your brand, but you want them to become engaged enough to look at the inside pages that shows that they value what you have to offer. Last year we were at 80% of pages being uh, uh, coming from the home page, 80% of our page views from the home page. This year we 55.6%. That's a great direction to be trending. It's very, very good. And our actual total number of visits on the home page is very similar but the, as a percentage of views, then it's way down. And that's where we want to be. People are the most interested in seeing, um, uh, this is all taken with a little bit of a grain of salt because we're directing people there through paid advertising as well, but they're very interested in the staff. It makes sense for the sort of business that you're doing that they would care the most about that. We're directing a lot of people toward your promotional event through the September landing page there. And they're wanting basic information from Contact Us, and that's positive. We want them to value things other than just that, but we ultimately want them to become engaged in some non-online fashion, some offline fashion. They want answers to questions, services, story. Everything is moving in the right sort of direction that we want it to be. So on the whole, things are going well here within this, and the website is still running well. There's nothing that's been... Um, um, uh, anything too radical that's been added to the website or changed during the this quarter, uh, I don't believe. It's still happening in a fairly similar way to what it was before. On the Facebook page, we're seeing good results as well. Let's take a look at that real quick. I didn't have it loaded up here beforehand, unfortunately. Here we go. Okay, so we're up to having 366 people like this, and that's a very good direction that we're moving with it. Uh, that's much better than where we were last year. Um, let's take a look at that real quickly, where we've gone over this last year. I think the 
chart that you're going to see here will be impressive. And look at this point in, let's get those to the right dates. Okay. From the end of last year, I'm sorry, from the beginning of this last year to now, this is where we've gone from. When we ended the last quarter of 2017, and we only had 61 page likes, and we've had a huge growth from then all the way up to 366 today. Right here it's showing 313 because we're um, a little behind on getting this video out to you all. But um, at the end of this last quarter, then we're up to 313, and we're still growing in that direction. We're getting to a place where a lot of these, a lot of this activity is going to be more self-sustaining. We still are going to need to be doing work to get people to become engaged, but we have enough people who are already active participants in our social media life that we are able to accomplish a lot more than we could before. And you can see the same sort of growth within the reach that we're having to people. We have these nice spikes that are coming along here, which is what you would expect with paid advertising. And uh, we have consistent growth, though, even in the middle. Um, even in the middle, we're continuing to reach people. So that's very good. People that we're reaching are still, by and large, women. That's about what we would expect to be having for this on a Facebook page in particular. And they're coming all from the right places. If you look at the people who are not just fans, but that are also engaged, we have very similar numbers exactly where we want to be, and hopefully we can keep growing those even more. If you have questions about these things with analytics, then feel free to let us know, and we can help work through any of those issues. Um, Jillian's a great resource for that. If um, there's something else you need, though, then I'm available as well, uh, and we'll make sure that we can answer any questions you have to help you keep growing your website and ultimately your business.